Good morning. It is 1 a.m. March 13th, 2020. Today we are going to be talking about standard versus hidden uh, volumes in Veracrypt. So we open Veracrypt, go to create volume, and we're going to create an encrypted file container. That's the very first thing we're going to be doing in our series. Click next. Now, which one do we want to make? And why, do, why does the option exist to make a hidden Veracrypt volume? So a standard Veracrypt volume is just that standard. Any, any guy can see it. Anyone snooping around your computer, desktop, whatever, they can see this. They can see the container. They can see that it's a Veracrypt volume. They can't see the data inside of it, but they can see, like, if uh, if you if you uh, put it put the Veracrypt volume onto a flash drive, and then you put it on somebody else's computer for whatever reason, they could see it. They could see that this this file, this little icon right there, that's a Veracrypt volume, but they couldn't read any of the data inside of that Veracrypt container. This option is to hide the Veracrypt volume. Now, why would you want to hide it? The idea here is, is that if somebody really wanted to get into your uh, encrypted drive or encrypted data, they would, you know, tie you down and torture you and whatever, and they would force you to force the password out of you to your encrypted drive or your encrypted whatever, your encrypted laptop, your encrypted file, your encrypted drive, partition, whatever container your encrypted Veracrypt volume is. The idea of a hidden Veracrypt volume is that once they, you know, actually open it, when you give them the first password and it opens that encrypt, encrypted volume, the one that they can see, the idea is, is that they can't see the next one where the real hidden encrypted information is. So it's a, it's a way of sort, it's a way of tricking your adversary your enemy or whoever wants to get into your uh, drive um, it's a way of tricking them into thinking that the you know that that you don't have a hidden one because it's the idea of plausible deniability that you can just deny the existence because they can't prove that it exists they can't prove that it's a hidden file they can't prove that the hidden file is there so if 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 I'm being tortured and I and somebody wants to get into my drive and for in for whatever information and I'm being tortured and I give them the password to my drive, they can't find the hidden file on there where my real encrypted data is. I just fill up the drive with all sorts of other stuff that I don't care about. But the real file, the real file that I'm worried about, the real file with the real information and the real valuable important information is hidden. And so they torture me, they get into the hidden drive, and then they're looking for the information that, you know, they're looking for the real hardcore stuff, and they can't find it, and they go, okay, Mr. How-To Privacy, tell us where the hidden Veracrypt volume is, and I go, okay, I, 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 there isn't one. I can plausibly deny that there isn't one, because they can't prove that there is one or that there, that there isn't one. So it's plausible deniability. It gives you, it gives you, the hidden Veracrypt volume gives the, it gives you the ability to deny that the hidden vol, hidden Veracrypt volume exists because your enemy or your adversary won't be able to find it. They won't be able to ha see or find or see any evidence or trace that, that it actually exists. So that's the idea behind a, a hidden Veracrypt volume. But um, in this video series, we're going to start with the standard Veracrypt volume. And that's that. So I just wanted to go over that, uh, the difference between a standard and hidden Veracrypt volume. And, uh, yeah, um, we'll eventually get to uh, hidden Veracrypt volumes eventually. But uh, I'm making the standard one for right now, and we'll eventually get to it. And we'll talk, we'll, we'll talk um, at more length and at greater depth about hidden Ver Veracrypt volumes sometime in the future. So... Until then, we'll see you guys next time.